everyone. Welcome to Twigs Connect. Welcome to our new Twigs virtual class. Today we are going to be beginning a new four-week series called A New Normal. In the next four weeks, we'll discover and adjust to a new normal of the world around us. In the last four months, most of us have found ourselves asking, when will all this be normal? The impact of COVID-19 is likely to be with us for a longer than we think or even want. This series, A New Normal, will inspire you to wonder, adjust, learn, and keep walking in the footsteps of Jesus, despite all the uncertainties. I want you to start by thinking back at a time when you were a small child. Did you think and feel that older, bigger, bigger people like your parents or your grandparents were so strong and brave that nothing made them afraid? Maybe you ran into their room in the middle of the night because of a storm or a bad dream, or you imagined that there were monsters under your bed. You depended on them for peace, security, and wisdom. As you get older, and even though you don't want to admit it, the scary things move from monsters under our beds to all kinds of evil you see online and out in the world. You have grown up hearing about terror terrorism, school violence, and most recently you have living through a global pandemic. None of this is normal. As you prepare to go back to school, there are changes that seem constantly to be in flux. Whether it is with school and how you will learn, or your body, or your friends, or the world around you. Even though we might like adventures and trying new things, all of these changes, may, many of which are out of our control, can leave us unsure, frightened, and seeking protection, just like when you were little. We want someone to let us know in the words of Forky from Toy Story 4 that everything is going to be okay. Pause the video and print out the walk sheet that's in on this site and then watch the segment from Toy Story. During the video, listen for and write down the answers to the first five questions on your walk sheet. Then hit play I'll see you in a few minutes. In all seriousness, you are at an age where you should realize that there are some great and loving adults, family members, and friends who care for you and want to protect you. Just like Woody and his toy friends cared for Forky. Ultimately, however, our protection comes from God. God doesn't just protect our body, but our minds, our spirits, and our hearts. In the midst of your discomfort from the change and the new normal, take some time to find your comfort in God and adjust your dependence on Him for security. Although it's important to know that you are loved and supported from family and friends, seek God first for the protection, help, and safety you need during these not-so-normal days. As we look for answers, we are going to read in the book of Psalms for inspiration and encouragement and learn how David, who was about your age, sought out God first during these difficult times. So put the video on pause again and find Psalm 18.2 in your Bible. Then watch the animated video, King David the Warrior, and answer the seven questions on your walk sheet. I will see you back in a few moments. Let's read Psalm 18, 2 together. The Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my savior. My God is my rock, in whom I find protection. He is my shield, the power that saves me, and my place of safety. Although David was the smallest and the youngest of the soldiers, he shows mental strength when he uses the power of his faith in God. When David wrote this psalm, he is verbalizing his love and trust in God as the one who can provide all that he needs. In David's day, a shield was a significant part of being protected in a battle. But a shield is a great metaphor for the way God protects us in our day and time from the many battles that we face. 
When David uses the word rock, he's referring to God as a place of safety. All this sounds like a great lesson in Bible history, but what can we learn from it in our world today? How can we apply it to our new normal we are facing? You, need, you may not be a shepherd trying to protect your flock like David, alone in the wilderness. But we all have times we feel alone and scared, especially during these uncertain and crazy times of COVID-19. And you probably haven't led in an army to battle, but you have needed or still need the courage to battle the challenges that come your way. David understands even though his situations were so much different than ours. He turned to his true source for help, God. You may feel scared and want to feel safe, protected, and secure. You can, you can have the same confidence that David had during his battles with Goliath. When you draw closer to God and have a heart of gratitude, not just during the normal times, but during the not so normal times, you are trusting God. Truth, true faith and trust in God means that we turn to him and depend on him when the new normal in our life reminds us that we might not like the new normal. But with God as our strength, we will have peace, security, wisdom to get through it. Here's a way to keep walking in the footsteps of Jesus. Sometime today, creatively write a prayer using the answers two through seven from the King David, the warrior section of your walk sheet and get in the habit of saying this prayer each night before going to bed. Here's the prayer that I wrote. Dear God, help me to be bravish. Give me the confidence to know that you will help me win all my battles. Give me strength to face and take down my challenges. When things are taken away and I feel attacked, I will trust you. You will always save me from my enemies. When I doubt, give me the faith I need to know that you are more powerful than anything and anyone that may come my way, especially during these not so normal times. You are my rock and my savior. Amen. So this week, I want you to think about the Goliaths that you're facing and seek God first for protection and security. We will be back again next week. But to mark your attendance, go down to the contact form on the bottom of this page and send me a quick email. Just say that I attended the today's session or tell me what you even liked about today's session. That will be very helpful to me. I miss and love you all and hope to see you soon.